Have you ever done something and then thought about why you did it? Or felt like the things you're doing in your everyday life are being watched by someone? Well, that weird gut feeling might be right. There are lots of little ways that the government can keep an eye on you and control your actions in ways you don't even notice. From a mind-bending crosswalk and a prison that's just a little too pink, to cardboard cutouts of cops to keep people from committing crimes. Here are 10 government inventions that control your behavior. Number 10, 3D Crosswalk. Even if you add speed limits and stop signs everywhere, some people just won't care. Because of this, car accidents are one of the biggest causes of death in the world, according to the World Health Organization. Because of this, some countries have started making 3D crosswalks, or well, crosswalks that look 3D. This tricks drivers into slowing down, which in turn stops traffic accidents. Plus, what makes this method even better is that it is a pretty good solution for decreasing the number of traffic accidents for a small cost. Number 9. Camden Bench The government hates homeless people because they are the true image of the government's failure to provide enough opportunities so everyone can earn a decent living. This is why they went out of their way to make homeless people disappear. The Camden Bench is literally made in a way where you can't lay down on it. Even sitting on it for a long time can be uncomfortable. Because of all of this, the bench has been dubbed as the perfect anti-object, or the masterpiece of unpleasant design. The designers of the bench actually said that homelessness should not be tolerated in any society, and that recognize homelessness as a problem rather than designed to accommodate it. What's worse is that the benches are located just a block away from the homeless hostel, which makes it feel like a slap in the face for all those people. Number 8. Pink Prison Without even realizing it, colors have a huge impact on our mood, which is why some Swiss prisons have started to paint their jail cells pink. Psychologists hope that this color will have a positive effect on the inmates and make them feel more relaxed. While pink was supposed to be soothing, the psychologists didn't take into account the prejudice that people all over the world hold against the color. A lot of the inmates felt emasculated because of the color, since pink is usually considered feminine. But in the end, it seems like the plan worked since it reported that the prisoners had a drastic change in their behavior and were a lot less aggressive compared to before. However, there were a few other prisoners that reported that some of the inmates were even angrier than they were when they came in because the inmates felt humiliated. Number 7. Fake CCTV Cameras Security cameras are one of the best ways to stop people from stealing or burglary. Because why would you risk getting caught when you can just go somewhere else that doesn't have a CCTV camera? Because of this, there have been more and more fake CCTV cameras these days that look just like real ones, but don't actually work at all. What's great about these cameras is that they cost significantly less than an actual camera, and most of them are reportedly deterred by some criminals. On top of all of this, they are way easier to install since they have no purpose, so you don't need to worry about the wiring of any kind. All you need to do is mount it in place. Number 6. Cut out cops People are obviously much less likely to commit crimes when they see cops around, but it's literally impossible to have cops everywhere all the time. But what you can have are fake cops. In 2009, life-size cutout versions of actual cops were put outside and inside a few shops. After this, the crime rate did go down by 5%, but it's hard to tell if it really was just because of the cardboard cutouts or if the crime rate just naturally went down. This has also been used as a way to get the people to stop speeding by placing the cardboard cutouts of the cops near the streets of Coquitlam. After this, 50% of the people that would normally go over the speed limit slowed because they thought that there was an actual cop there and they didn't want to get a ticket. Number 5. Crosswalk Buttons If you've ever pressed any of those crosswalk buttons, you've probably noticed that it feels like it doesn't change anything. Well, that feeling might not just be you, it could possibly be an actual thing. While these buttons were made to inform the system that someone was waiting to cross the road, recent reports have explained that some of these buttons are literally deactivated. And even if they are on and working, there's still a pretty big chance that they won't really make a difference overall. These buttons are mostly here just to distract the pedestrians until the stoplight becomes red again. Number 4. Coughing Billboard if there's one annoying thing about standing near a smoker, is that one way or another, the smoke is going to end up in your face. 
One of the ways everyone expresses their distaste for being involuntarily smoked is by very loudly coughing near the smoker to make them feel guilty. Back in 2017, there was a billboard ad in Stockholm that was invented, but this one was a little different from the others. This billboard ad was able to detect whenever there was someone smoking near it and would literally cough back at them. The coughing would come out of nowhere since the billboard would play regular ads, but then the coughing person would come on screen whenever there was a smoker near it. The spokeswoman for the agency that made the billboard said it was to help people make a New Year's resolution to quit smoking. They said that if the smokers saw a huge billboard calling them out for smoking, they might just get emotionally manipulated into realizing that they might actually have a problem and try to stop it. Number 3. Traffic Calming Traffic calming is basically using the road in a way that slows down vehicles as they go through the more commercial or urban areas. This makes the road a lot safer for pedestrians, cyclists, and motorists. This is a pretty big change for most people, since roads are seen as streets for cars. But this way, drivers are much less likely to speed up since they know that there will be people walking around. Plus, there will be way fewer traffic accidents too. Some of the ways to implement traffic calming are by putting traffic cones around or using speed pumps. Another very popular way is by using roundabouts, since drivers will have to slow down as they get near it. This way, pedestrians can get to the crosswalk safely. Number 2. Anti-Homeless Spikes Spikes are usually used to deter pigeons or other animals for commercial areas. But nowadays, the government uses these spikes to deter homeless people. These spikes are being added basically everywhere, from under bridges to in front of apartment buildings. These anti-homeless spikes were criticized pretty badly, since it's flat out cruel. Many people even question if humanity really stopped this law, and if we're willing to hurt those in need rather than actually helping them. A lot of people also questioned why there was so much money being spent on making spikes everywhere instead of funding homeless shelters or making more, which would be a much better solution to this mess. This way, homeless people would actually be able to stay in a comfortable place while these areas can stay unspiked. Number 1. Uncomfortable Seats There are more and more hostile designs in basically all public spaces. From spikes to streetlights, they're everywhere. One of the main ways to keep people away from getting too comfortable in public was by designing uncomfortable seats. These would prevent people from sitting on the seat for a long time and sleeping on these would be basically impossible. One of the examples of these seats is the learning bars in New York subway, where you can't even sit on the seats, instead you can only lean on them. Other than the leaning bars, there's also a bunch of benches in public spaces that have armrests in the middle so that you can't comfortably lay down on them. On top of all of this, these benches usually have a very short back, so not only can you not lay down on the bench, but you also can't lean back. All of these designs work enough that everyone will be in the public, but not stay in the public forever. Alright, comment down below which of these government inventions blew your mind the most. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to TechJoint, and we'll see you in the next one.